This video is to show how to archive work orders that have been completed but not put into an archive status yet. Once they've been signed off and completed, then you can come into Work Orders and Requests, Site Specific List Management, Over, and then down to Work Orders, Deletions, and Updates. Click on this one here. This gives you all the work orders that you have. In the lower section here in the white, all this area down here is the work orders you want to work with and to set up the information for that. You can go to a specific person or a specific type. In this case, we're working with preventive maintenance work orders. If you have repair work orders you want to do, you click repair and do the same thing. So in this case, we want completed. So the status category says assigned, open this, go down to complete, click on that, and the screen should change automatically for you. There you go. If you notice in the completed column, it has the date that they were completed. If you update records in here, bring them up here from assigned, and you want to sign off a bunch of them, go up here and to complete with that status, and then you highlight all of them, and you complete them that way, the date in here will be the day that you do this, not the date that they were actually completed. So that's something to think about when you're doing these. All right, so now all these records here have been completed, and we want to archive them. Click in the box right here. This will highlight all your work orders. In this case, we have about like 78 work orders we're going to archive. Then come up to the gray area. Click the status box. This one right now is an assign. Open this. Put it as archive. That way they're, archi they're archiving all these records. And the date of the section here is delete or update. We want to update. Come up to submit. Press the submit button. Then the next screen coming up will make sure that you want to do this. If you don't, press no. You go back and start again. These are all the work orders that we had. Press yes. Are you sure? And right now the computer's thinking. And... Give it a second, or two, or three, and now it comes back, no work orders found. Okay, that's because you're in the completed section. Switch this back over to assign, and then now these are all the work orders without dates in here that you need to sign off still. So that's the fast and easiest way to archive work orders. And in another video, I'll show you how to sign off some and some other ones, how to convert these from, if you want to make these completed, how to actually do that. Thank you.